preliminary right now. We're, it's being shown as a magnitude 3.9. Uh, it's about two-tenths of a mile uh, to the west of the uh, location of the Hayward Fault. So whether it's on the Hayward Fault or another little fault very close, that remains to be seen. It's about a half a mile south of Memorial Stadium. And um, it's, you know, it's really too early to uh, say what the significance of this is, other than I'll, I'll say that uh, on the day that we had the great shakeout, uh, this is a really excellent reminder of the larger earthquakes you know, in our in our future. Exactly, and David, if uh, along the Hayward Fault Zone, you know, we've been told for a long time the Hayward Fault itself has been, you know, the term we like to use is locked and loaded that we're overdue on the Hayward Fault for for a big quake. This obviously 3.9, not that quake. However, as you say, a reminder. That's that's right, and uh, we'll we'll be watching the area. We're, more information will be coming in as uh, as the uh, seismic network uh, analyzes this, and we'll have a little bit more information a little later. All right, David Schwartz, thanks so much. We're going to go to another phone call right now. I believe one of our photojournalists, John Ramis, is uh, in Concord. And uh, John, you with me? Yeah, I'm here. I'm here. Hey, John. Uh, so, what did you feel? Well, I'm off today, and uh, so I was here at the home at the, in Concord. At the, just sat down at the home computer when uh, all of a sudden it started. It sounded like somebody had was reaching over to begin with. It sounded like somebody reached over and was kind of pushing the desk, kind of creaking it. And I kind of stopped for a second, and then all of a sudden there was a really sharp jolt, and then then it, you could feel the house start rocking and creaking and stuff from from and. Uh, I don't know, I heard my dog jump up all of a sudden, and he was wondering what was going on. But it only lasted, I would say it lasted somewhere around four or five seconds or so, not, not too long. But that one jolt was really pretty sharp, which is kind of the reason I called in to say, say what we were feeling out no, here. No, I'm, I'm glad you did. I had a, another phone call here. Uh, Michael in Oakland was telling us that he felt sort of three or four uh, large thumps. Uh, but you're saying just really one is what you felt? Well, you could you could feel some movement, and I think, thinking, okay, it's an earthquake, you know. And you always kind of you always kind of wonder, well, is this just going to be a small one and go away, or is it going to be big? But then all of a sudden, there was this one really sharp jolt, mm -hmm. and you go, oh my gosh! And then you know, you kind of wonder, oh, should, should I get out of the house? And your mind instantly goes, and then and then it sort of settled down, and there was just kind of some rocking, and then and then, like I said, and you could hear the house creaking, and then all of a sudden, it just kind of died off. Well, Michael in Oakland also said some stuff flew off the shelves and off of his <laughs> desk, but Oakland, uh, as you might have heard me mention, just about five miles from the uh, from the epicenter, you're you're a, a further away than that. Yeah, I think we're probably what what are we about ten miles, fifteen? Well, probably about fifteen miles or so from Berkeley. So all right, uh, I would think so. We're probably not you know we're not as close. All right. Well, listen, glad you're okay. Thanks very much for checking yeah. in with us. We appreciate the information. You're welcome. Thanks. All right. Now, uh, Kristen Ayers, our reporter uh, in the East Bay, she is in Oakland. Uh, Kristen, are you there? Yes, I am. I am here in, and in fact, we actually are in Berkeley. Uh, uh, where, where I'm hearing the epicenter of the earthquake was and did feel that jolt when it happened. Uh, we were actually sitting in the live truck and felt what we thought was someone uh, possibly rear-ending the back of the truck and so uh, got a bit of a jolt there. Uh, and uh, felt a little bit of shaking that sort of lingered after that initial jolt. Uh, didn't figure out until uh, we were scrolling around on, on Facebook and, and seeing some of the comments coming from our friends that, in fact, it was a, a 4.2 magnitude earthquake uh, centered right here in Berkeley. Um, so, so certainly felt the shaking. Kristen? Uh, and... Uh, Kristen, have been downsized a little bit. Okay, Kristen, I want to interrupt you for just a second. Don't go away. I'll get right back to you because I have been given some information about BART trains. Uh, they have been stopped or slowed uh, because of this quake, uh, which is typical standard operating procedure because they want to uh, inspect uh, the, the tracks there. But right now we're being told that there are uh, about 15-minute delays so they can uh, check those tracks. Also, uh, the Highway Patrol is out looking for any structural uh, damage. We've talked to Sergeant Trent Cross, and he's telling us that. Uh, Kristen, you, you, you're still there? Kristen? Still here. Okay. So you were telling me, you were in, uh, you know, I think everybody kind of knows what one of the large news vans is like, and it felt like someone was shaking it, or you got rear-ended? Is that what you were saying? It, that's, that's what we thought. Uh, we were sitting, si sitting in the live truck, sort of looking in our rearview mirror, trying to figure out if someone had just hit the back of our truck. Uh, we had someone parked behind us and thought maybe uh, there had been an accident of some sort. Uh, both uh, my 
photographer Zach Keen and I sitting here and just got a little bit of a jolt forward. Uh, and then, you know, normally if you get an impact like that, you get the impact and then it stops. But we felt sort of the uh, lingering shaking in the live truck. Uh, didn't realize until a few moments later that it, that it was, in fact, an earthquake we just felt. And just quickly, Kristen, because I want to move on. We've got uh, Caltrans spokesman. But as you look around uh, where you are in the neighborhood, is electricity on? Are the signals all working? Signals all working. Uh, we're we're uh, on a on a major street here on Adeline in Oregon. Uh, none of the uh, street lights or anything uh, seem to have been affected by that. People walking around. You have to imagine they all felt it even just walking around here. Right. Absolutely. All right. Kristen Ayers in the East Bay, uh, uh, very close to the epicenter. Uh, thank you very much. Uh, the epicenter near Berkeley. Uh, they say it was about two miles east southeast. Now Caltrans. I believe we have Bart Nay on the uh, on the phone with us. Bart, thanks for joining us. Sure thing. Can you tell us, uh, I'm sure you folks are uh, concerned about this size of a quake, 3.9, and uh, you're taking a look at overpasses and the bridges and, and such? Well, keep in mind, we're just minutes after this, uh, this earthquake has, has hit. Um, the first things we do is look at reports that come in from our, our construction sites and, and uh, from people who have experienced some type of uh, damage on the, on the freeway. So it's just happening right now. Um, the, the, I don't even think the magnitude has been completely quantified yet. The first readings that came in from USGS, they're automated. We're at a 4.2 level. So we're at the, the very beginning of, of a second. And, uh, you know, of course, one of the big concerns would be, uh, w would be the Bay Bridge. And we're looking right now, we have a picture of the Golden Gate Bridge. Traffic seems to be new moving uh, normally right now. But the, as we take a look at the Bay Bridge, you know, that's always a big concern. And I'm wondering about the, the new construction and the construction site, because a lot of that stuff isn't exactly anchored down, is it, uh, in preparation for any kind of a quake? Well, actually, almost all of it is anchored down. Okay. Um, even our temporary structures have seismic elements that are built into them because we live in a high seismic area. Um, the, the type of bridge that we're building for the new bridge uh, will be double the size of Quake and, and handle it just fine. And we're taking a look at the MacArthur uh, maze right now in the East Bay, and traffic is, is moving there. So as far as you know, Bart, everything is, uh, is okay. I know it's early, yeah. but... Yeah, so far we haven't heard of any, any big emergencies, and again, it's just a few minutes after the trembler, so we'll, we'll keep monitoring. All right, and 